so hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mass code at this side and today we will be solving another POTD and let us continue the series so today's problem is check if a number is divisible by 8 so as the name of the problem is pretty evident we have been given a number but the only twist is we have been given a number in form of a string in form of a string and we have to tell whether the number is divisible by 8 or not so you can see this string is equivalent to the number 16 right and we all know 8 to the 16 so this number is divisible by 6 8 so we will done 1 okay talking about this number how can we solve it right this is not a point here okay this is not a point here so if we talk about this number it is pretty much what do we say hassle free uh, hassle like how will we convert into a number can we convert it into an int type the answer to that is no why because we all know that int has a specific range that is 2 to the power 31 of negative 2 to the power 31 minus 1 of positive right and this number is far far greater right so your first homework will be to tell me what is the particular range by solving it numerically you can also google the stuff but the, the basic idea is to get uh, you the knowledge of what is a range okay so you can see that this number cannot convert to int many of you will say let us try the long long int version long long int but sorry to say this will also not work this also has much smaller range than this number right so what can we do we are in a problem now we are in a problem what was the first approach first approach was to convert the given string into the integer and then just solve it that was pretty fine but the problem arises when we encounter a number which is much more greater than the range of our int or long long int so what can we do okay now i guess that most of you are from 11 12th or from the college levels and solving the potd or above no problem you can start coding anytime okay now as far as i remember i studied them in third class what did i study in third class i studied divisibility patterns divisibility patterns what are the divisibility patterns if you're not able to recollect no problem i am here to you i'm here to help you only okay so if i say tell me whether number uh, let's say whether we have a number n right we have a number n so i will say like is a number divisible by one like how can i determine if this n is divisible by one so you will say all numbers are divisible by one. all numbers are divisible by one okay if i talk about two so you will say let us see the table of two so the table of two says two after that four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two and so on right so you will see the ones digit the ones digit is either two four six eight zero then two four six eight zero it is repeating right so ones digit should be even right should be even that is 0 2 4 6 or 8 it should lie in this set only okay talking about 3 the 3 is divisibility pattern is the one i will i love the most what is it it says that sum of numbers or sum of digits to be precise sum of digits should be divisible by 3 right like uh, suppose I have a number 343, right? So what is the sum of digits here? It is 3 plus 4 plus 3, which is equals to uh, 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10. Is 10 divisible by 3? No. That means this number is also not divisible by 3. You can check 343 if I divide it, try to divide it. So question 1, 3, 0. I carry down 4 here. 1, 3, 1, 3. And I carry down 4, 12. I leave a remainder of 1, right? So divisibility pattern says sum of digits should be divisible by 3 similarly 4 it says last two digits last two digits should be divisible by 4 okay uh, important note guys if you already know about these stuff you can skip to the coding area or you can skip to the algorithm, algorithm area or you can also skip to the 8 where i will discuss the 8 like how what is the divisibility pattern of 8 right this is just for fun just to gain uh, share some knowledge right last video should be divisible by 4 that is if you are given a number let's say 4 4 5 6 7 6 
and then at last it is given as 56. So you don't need to divide whole number, you can just take 56 and if 56 is divisible by 4, that means the number is divisible by 4. Talk about 5, it says like in 2, the ones digit should be even, it says one digit should be 0 or 5, right? For 6, it says it should be divisible by 2 and it should be divisible by 3, okay, 2 and 3. 7, 7 is your homework, 7 is your homework, I want you to struggle some hard because it might be possible in the near future uh, or in your OA or in your interview it might ask about the 7 okay so you will have to solve that also so I want you to uh, practice it as a homework and explain to me in the comment section talk about 8 our favorite one today because it has been asked in the 8 so as 4 said the last 2 digits similarly last 8 says last 3 digits okay last 3 digits so if we see we have made this problem into this problem right 555 okay we have made 16 now 16 is already less than 3 so we can uh, easily process that so 8 says three digit furthermore 9 says uh, sum of digits like in 3 it was should be divisible by 3 it says should be divisible by 9 okay so let's talk about the today's problem okay we have got last three digits last three digits so what i will do is i will convert only this part only this part into int and then check not a problem right only this part into this only this part into the int version and then check it can carry int version right what is the maximum number it can happen it can happen 999 nine, nine, which is much lesser than this value right much lesser than this value okay so our problem is solved let us come to the coding area okay let us come to the coding area in the meantime i want you guys to subscribe to my channel because as you already know it gives me a lot of motivation and hope you're liking the video please hit the like button okay if you have any doubts please comment in the comment section and i will surely get back to you okay so my first step will be as a good coder i will take out the length of my string right as dot length after that what i will do is i will check that if my n is less than 3 if it is so i will convert it to length 3 how like it is 16 i can convert it into 016 right i can convert into 016 so what i will do is while n is less than 3 what i will do is s equals to 0 plus s and then n plus plus right okay after this we we are sure that our length is greater than equals to 3 our length is greater than equals to right so let us move to the notes area once more so in this case let us suppose this length is n total length is n right what is this index it is n minus 1 this index n minus 2 this index n minus 3 so our hundreds place is n minus 3 n minus 2 is our tens place and n minus 1 is our one space we will use this into our code so what i will do is i will make a number i will convert uh, tell it to start from 0 and I will go for for n tie equals to n minus 3, right? The last third index. It will go up till n minus 1, that is the last index, and i plus plus. What will happen is number equals to first multiplied by 10, right? This is a standard procedure, okay? I hope you will get it. Like, what are we doing here is we have got, uh, let me go down. Yeah, we have. 5 5 5 as a string here right what we will do is our number is currently 0 right we will add 5 to it the number will convert to 5 but this 5 was contributing 500 in the string and we have only used 5 okay no problem i say that when i will go here i will first multiply it by 10 so it will get converted to 50 and then add 5 so it will get converted into 55 but it should have been given 550 it is just given 55 okay i will repeat the procedure i go here I will first multiply it by 10, it will convert to 550 and then add 550, 5. Was it the required value? If I go here, no procedure left. So I got my answer as 555. That is what we are doing in the coding area also. So number equals to number star 10 plus. Now S of i minus 0 will give me the value. Why? Why will it give me the value? So Suppose so 0 is, in, uh, is mapped to an sky value, let's say x. 1 will be mapped to an sky value of x plus 1. 2 will be in, mapped to the value of x plus 2. And subsequently, 9 will be mapped to the value x plus 9. So
So if I will subtract 9 from 0, I will get 9. If I will subtract 2 from 0, I will get 2. 1 from 0, I will get 1. 0 from 0, I will get 0. So is, are these the integer value I want? Yes, so I will use that. That is SI minus 0. Or you can just use int version also of that. SI minus 0 is done, right? We have got a number in hand. Now, if my number is divisible by 8, we, we will use a modulo operator here. Is divisible by 8. In that case, return 1. Otherwise, it is said that if it is not divisible, then else return minus 1. Okay, so this is the code here in front of you. Let us hope it works. In the meantime, please subscribe to my channel. And that's all I can request for. And if you're liking the video, please do not hesitate to hit the like button, right? It matters to me a lot. So it is taking a bit long time to compile and run it. Let's try it for submit in uh, directly. So you can see it worked fine. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day and we will meet tomorrow with a new question and a new energy. Till then, please don't stop coding, right? Please don't stop coding and practice DSA as much as you can. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow.